So I wanted to make this video to illustrate the options that you have against uh, EX Amnesia. And I wanted to make this for the guys in the Street Fighter group because I knew this conversation was going to spark some controversy. And before I get into this video, and you know, you can see the channel right there. So full credit to them for making this video. Um, I just wanted to preemptively explain the why as far as the complaints about EX Amnesia. The main complaint is the amount of reward that you get for activating EX Amnesia. And people seem to misunderstand uh, why this is. People just don't really think about it. The reason EX Amnesia is such high reward, comparatively speaking to something like an EXDP, is when you hit an EXDP or an EX Reversal for many other characters, that is the end of that scenario. The character got uh, what they wanted out of that interaction who actually initiated the ex reversal so in the case of like a shoto if they hit you with an exdp they got the damage it's guaranteed they got um the pressure relief they got the positional change on the screen and shifted the momentum of the match successfully when you ex deep uh, ex amnesia all those things that i just mentioned about an exdp being guaranteed upon hits are not guaranteed depending on the option uh, that the AX Amnesia countered. Um, and so in many situations, and especially, especially in one of the cases where JP would feel the most pressured to use the tool in the corner, uh, you get a second opportunity to actually stuff the EX Amnesia and make it completely negligible. And the JP will get no reward. And then you'll see in this video that in certain situations, you as the opponent will actually stuff the amnesia and even build meter off the off the counter that you that you select and the jp will gain absolutely nothing from a successful activation in the corner and no positional advantage and and on top of that they wasted the resource so they had the a correct guess in the sense of you know they read a meaty option there you hit it you activate it and it, and it mean it meant absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and just watch this video and I'll pause to comment on things. So you can see that like one of the things I was mentioning in the group was uh, jab in the throw. Jab in the throw is one of the best options to counter this, which I mean, this is really good because you get a meaty option and then the JP has to do something like a back that they, they have to have a hard read on your next tech in order to try to gain back the position. If you were to do something like a jab in the throw, but if they back dash there and you jab and you just block I mean, that right there is like nothing, nothing happened. There's no advantage gain from the JP and they successfully activated it. So look, look, just keep watching. If you read that, it's basically the mix up inside the mix up of amnesia. Again, that's why this move gets such high reward because there's a different situation where you can make something happen and completely shut down this reversal, okay? That's why. So look at this. In the, in the case of Luke, with his uppercut here, you can see the JP activated and then tried to gain positional advantage by jumping out of the corner. And you still managed to get a hit, even though Luke still got hit by the bombs. Ultimately negating any majority damage potential of the EX Amnesia, which everybody seems to cry about and say that every time you fucking activate Amnesia, that you're going to gain 5,500 fucking damage. Uh, so in this situation, let's paint the scenario, which is very often the case, where you activate Amnesia and it's your last bit of health and you successfully got the hit. And then Luke having the health lead or the character with the EXDB having the health lead DPs you jumping out of the corner with the EX and kills you. It, it, like you had, you had a little bit of life left. You were on, you were on pixel health 
or minimal life uh, one hit and you successfully got your EX amnesia and you guessed a second time and you still got killed for it. So look at that. That is exactly why, and I'm going to keep repeating, that this move is so high reward. So let's keep watching. <laughs> And this is what I'm saying about the jab. Seth, are you watching this? Mr. I have no options against fucking EX Amnesia. Seth, are you there? Seth, look at that. This is what I'm saying. You can literally do jab into, into a super like Luke's. into a cinematic super. And if you confirm the hit, what the fuck was the point of the Amnesia? You just completely negated a successful activation like it was no big deal. Look at that. Not only do you get the first jab, you get two more follow-ups and then into a super. What the fuck is this shit? This is what I'm saying. This is why I'm sitting here hold, taking all this heat over this move that people are constantly crying about. This is exactly why. <laughs> JP is still in the corner. Are you noticing that crucial detail, people? JP is still in the corner in this situation. All right? The bombs hit, but because you mashed the DP, you got hit a little bit. Yeah, you took a chunk, but you also took a chunk from JP, you know, tit for tat, and then you still have positional advantage. You still have it. How the fuck do people not get this through their head? and then into super then into super okay and listen i already know what some people are going to try to counter with because somebody already mentioned this oh but what if you do level one after ex amnesia okay again the point is you have a second guess bro you have a second guess and that's also a guess for me like an EX reversal, oh, but I gotta spend even more resource. I gotta spend EX reversal and the fucking super to get your ass off of me. Otherwise, I gain nothing from it considering like the type of character you have and what your knowledge is surrounding the move and how to counter it. I get nothing from it. I, and you're telling me I gotta spend even more resource to try to get something from an EX reversal that's successfully activated. <laughs> Sorry, I know the voice gets distorted when I'm talking directly with the video. Did you see that? Cammy, one of the worst matchups for JP in the game. Jab, jab into EX DP from Cammy. Just completely shit on Amnesia. Just completely shit on it. We have no options. There are no options. Shut the fuck up. Should just shut the fuck up.
one of the worst matchups for Geef still has the ability to counter EX Amnesia with EX Jab Jabbin's EX Lariat. You can see, stop the bullshit saying that this move is utterly hopeless. Is the move strong? Fuck yeah, it is. It's very strong, especially if you counter a throw. Are there no options, uh, options against it? Absolutely not. Go ahead and watch the video. And if you have a character that has a projectile, you can literally projectile on JP's wake up there. And you can force them to resort to something like a parry to try to hopefully gain a perfect parry and then throw the situation around. But um, this right here, like EX Amnesia, no projectile invincibility. You can just absolutely stuff the shit out of it with a projectile. The amount of times I've been fighting Ken, Guile, you know, all these characters with projectiles and have that shit stuff is just insane to me. There are a bunch of options that you can do to counter this move. The fact that you can even hit a meaty, be plus enough to get a different situation on an EX reversal is insane. And again, it illustrates exactly why this move is such high reward. Why if you successfully hit it, you'll get a side switch. Because if your opponent is smart enough, and I fight a lot of very smart people, when I try to activate Amnesia, the amount of times I've had my shit stuffed, and I gain virtually fucking nothing from it, has been more than I can possibly count. This is not a move that is just un, un, like completely hopeless to fight against. You can see right here, even in mid-screen, you have options to try to counter it. Granted, again, that you're going for some of those moves that were illustrated right here, like jab and moves that don't have high recovery and shit like that, right? Even in mid-screen, you can still counter it. So let's stop the cap as if EX Amnesia is utterly broken. Very strong? Yes. Broken? Fuck no. That's it. Have a good one.